All right, this is going to be a short video about the E28 or the M30 motor uh, idle control valve. I know there's been a lot of questions about how it works and does it get sticky and all that. All right, here's my setup. I've got power supply underneath here. I've got a motor controller to control the uh, idle control valve. I've got my scope showing the two waveforms. The uh, top one is the ECU and the bottom one is from the scope signal uh, pattern generator. And the top signal is actually connected up to the connector where the idle control valve used to be. So we can run the valve off of the ECU or from the scope and so that's what we're going to do here. Um, on the scope screen here I have top trace is the signal from the ECU. The bottom trace is a signal generator so I can do manual adjustments of the uh, duty cycle so we can see this thing in action. So they're both about 76 Hertz. So a little bit get some good vibrations in there to keep it keep the stiction down on the valve. So if we look at the valve right now you can see it's about halfway open. Okay, so this is running on the ECU, so let me turn that off. And we'll switch over to running from the scope signal itself. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the duty cycle. So we're starting at 52%, which is about halfway open. And as you see, every time I change the knob, there's a small glitch in the signal. But you can see how fast that thing settles back down to the appropriate position. You can see it moves quickly. It moves without a lot of, there's no sticking and so forth. This is the way it's supposed to work. You know, some people have had sticky valves and it's caused bad idle and so forth. thing about this valve is now it's just about closed. We are at 32% duty cycle. Now let's do the other direction. It's pretty much wide open here. And we are at 72%. There's not a lot of range between fully open and fully closed. Now if you look at the top signal, which is coming from the ECU, you can you can see it's really jumping around a lot in discrete steps, and I think that's the reason the, the idle on this old old gal is not necessarily terribly stable. I think if the duty cycle were more precisely controlled, it'd be a much smoother idle here. But now, uh, just a quick. Uh, Deal. This is just a, an ordinary old motor controller acting as the control for the uh, for the idle control valve. Let's put it back to 50% again on the scope. There's 50%. See, it's pretty much back where it was before. quickly adjust, no overshoot and so forth. One thing I want to show you here is if I change the frequency uh, to modulate that valve and I change it to almost 200 Hertz, what happens now when we change the duty cycle, what happens when we change the duty cycle You see sometimes when you switch switch the duty cycle, it takes a very long time to settle back. How it, it goes and then it slowly slides into position. That's not good. And so that's why they modulate the thing about 75 hertz.